Recently, there is a room accessories that is really popular on TikTok. And you guess it, the LED lights that instantly makes a normal, dull, boring room into a disco house fit for a gamer or anime weebs. So, I bought one and decided to try it out myself. So I bought this LED strips for $13 Aussie dollars which means it's around 9 US dollars from AliExpress and it is length of 5 meters and it also comes with a remote control that you can control it manually. Actually I waited one and a half months for this thing to arrive at my doorstep because I bought it from AliExpress which is located in China and it actually took so long to come in to Australia and you do not need to actually buy it from AliExpress there's a lot of places that sell this for example your local electronic stores definitely will sell this like Bunnings Warehouse or Kmart or Daddy's House wait anyways you can actually buy it from your local store or you can buy it from Amazon or eBay which is going to cost a little bit more expensive but it is definitely worth because you can get it almost immediately these items are actually really popular since the rise of TikTok and I just got into TikTok like this year so I didn't know about it until I saw many people use it and I would like to try it also. These LED strips is really useful as it can aesthetically make your whole room different and lights up your whole house like a disco ball party. If you are interested in that of course, but if you're not, you can just like light it up on your back of your monitor, your desk or at the back of your TV screen or your kitchen. There's actually a lot of ways that you can use it. But the most common ways that people are going to use it for is to stick it around your whole room. By the way, this is not a tutorial so I won't be teaching in-depthly of how to actually connect this. I'm just going to be sticking it onto my wall myself. So, let's get started. 12 seconds later. Um, boys and girls. Um, I don't think my, I don't think the circumference of my room is 5 meters. As you can see. Um, guys, I think I made a mistake on my calculations. I bought my LED strip lights in the length of 5 meters. And I thought it was like, this wall is 1 meter long. That wall is 1 meter long. That wall is 1 meter long. 1 meter long. So it's 4 meters, and I have 1 meter extra. Oh my god. Did I just buy it short? Oh my gosh. Oh fuck. Well, anyways, I think it's gonna be alright because I think I'll go with my um, alternate plan, which is, um, which is sticking it onto my canvas right here, my porch. My lovely porch canvas, I'm going to stick it around the circumference so it will be something like a back lid like that. So the canvas right here is DIY, so I've just bought the canvas with a porch on it. It's a custom print. And then I buy a canvas where people draw with the frame and then I stick it on it using tapes. And that's how I made this thing on a budget. Anyways, I, I think I'll just be sticking this onto the circumference of this and see how it looks. I'm gonna regret this, right? <laughs> Alright, so the good thing about this is it's pretty self-explanatory. You just need to just poke this in and then poke this in. Then, you will need to peel this thing off, the tape off, like double-sided tape and then stick it on your wall or something. That's all. I hit it with another problem again. This this wire, I think it's too short because my canvas is here and then my uh, adapter, AC adapter is over there. So if I stretch it out, then it will be quite ugly and there's a, like a, a LED strip coming close the wall like this. All right, so I got this thing, the extension cable from my fridge and I think I'll be using this to connect it. <laughs> Alright, it's now time for the interesting part, which is sticking this LED. Oof. All 
All right, halfway there. I know what you guys are thinking, you think this guy sucks. Yeah, I know. This is my first time, so I'm sorry. And the best part is going to come soon. Let's see where it, how it's going to be when it's light up. Woo! All right, I'll be using this remote. So this remote requires a battery, so make sure that the package includes the battery. Or not, I need to use your own, my own battery. I've switched off the lights and we'll be using this remote control. So let's see. Three. Two, one. Oh my god. Oh shit. Holy. Look at this. Oh my god. This is so beautiful. Holy shit. The blue. And we have double colors, triple colors. Then we can have like smooth. Fate. This seriously looks fantastic. Do you think? I hope I can see more of my porch though. I think I should buy some lights so that I can put it and then shine onto my porch because it's a little bit dark right now. Anyways, so there's around half of the LED strip lights still not used. I might be using it to do other things because I need to buy another set of this AC adapter and for this instance, I will not be using it. Alright, not gonna lie to you, it looks 100% better than I expected. I know you can't really clearly see the pictures when I turn off the light, but if I just leave my one light on and I off my studio lights, it will be absolutely stunning. You're using your raw eyes and you can see clearly the pictures as well as LEDs light surrounding it. And this, one, and this is called something like a backlit light. Oh, it just looks amazing. What do you guys think of it? I hope this is just like an inspiration for how you are going to decorate your room next time. And as usual, if you like this, click the like button and subscribe for more budget tech videos. Thank you very much. I hope to see you guys again. Budget Zero. Peace. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's not it's it's better than expected to be honest.